What's up everybody? In this video, we're going to go over how to rationalize two-term radicals. And what's going to happen with two-term radicals is you're either going to have this in the numerator or the denominator, depending on which one you're rationalizing. So it's just root A minus root B. Now there can also be numbers in front, but I just, for this example, pretended like there's only a one in front. So root A minus root B, whenever you see something like this, you have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of whatever term you're rationalizing. So for rationalizing this term, we have to multiply it by the conjugate, which is just the same thing, except the sign in the middle, see how here it was negative? Well, it just turns into positive then, plus root B. So if this was A plus root B and we were multiplying it by the conjugate, we would be multiplying it by root A minus root B. But since this was a negative, this is just a positive. And now let's multiply both of these expressions out and let's see what happens. So we would FOIL it. So root A times root A, that just gives us A. A or root A times root B, that just gives us positive AB or the square root of AB. Uh, minus square root of b times positive square root of a, that would just give us minus the square root of a, b again, and then negative root b times positive root b, that just gives us negative b. And notice how these two terms in the middle, they cancel out to zero. Root a, b minus root a, b, those are like terms, so we're just left with a minus b. And notice how our final answer has no radicals. So this is the process that you're going to have to go through when you're rationalizing a two-term radical, meaning that you're adding or subtracting two expressions. And we'll go over a bunch of examples to further explain that. So for example, let's say that we have this term root three over root six minus root two, and we have to rationalize the denominator. So notice in the denominator, how there are two terms that are being subtracted. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take the conjugate of that denominator, which is just root six plus root two, so it's just the opposite sign of the negative, and we put the conjugate in the numerator and the conjugate in the denominator. So it's like we're multiplying this expression here by one. So if we take that numerator of root three and multiply by that conjugate root six plus root two, what would happen is we have to distribute that root three within that bracket. So root three times root six would just give us root 18, and then root three times root two would just give us root six. Now, what about the denominators? We are root six minus root two times root six plus root two. Well, if you notice, it follows the format that we have up here. So this root A is like root six, and then this B, or this root B is like root two, and we're multiplying it by the conjugates, or multiplying it by root six plus root two. And when we get to the final step, if we were to expand it, we would just end up having a minus b, which would just be six minus two, because the a is six and the b is two. So if you want for practice, you can go ahead and FOIL this and see that the middle terms will cancel out and you're just left with six minus two in the uh, denominator. But uh, with time, you should know that when you're taking a two-term expression and multiplying it by its conjugate, you're just going to end up with the n terms multiplied together. So root six times root six just gives us six. Negative times positive is a negative, and then root two times root two just gives us two. And then that further simplifies to three root two, which we took this root 18 and switched it to two because root 18, we can switch into root nine times root two and we would just end up with three root two plus the root six, that can simplify into anything further and then six minus two is just four. So that there is our final answer and this expression is equal to our original expression. Again, like we did in one term radicals, you can take both expressions, plug them into your calculator, make sure you get the same decimal amount. And notice how in this expression though, we don't have any radicals left. There's only a four left because we rationalize the denominator. Now more often than not, you're gonna be asked to rationalize the denominator, but sometimes you'll also be asked to rationalize the numerator. So if we take this expression, three root five plus two, all over root seven, and we're asked to rationalize the numerator, 
basically we want to create an equivalent expression with no radical in the numerator so we got to get rid of this root 5 somehow and the same thing would apply now notice how in the numerator this two term radical is a little different number one there's this three in front and we haven't had to deal with a number in front yet here we just had root six minus root two and notice how this two is not a radical while here in both terms we had a radical however the same thing would apply you would still include that two when you multiply by its conjugates so you would multiply it by three root five minus two so same expression we just change the sign in the middle all over three root five minus two so it's like we're taking this expression and multiplying it by one we just took this three root five plus two and multiply it by the conjugate over the conjugate now in this case when we're multiplying the numerators the multiplication is going to be a little bit more complex than we've been doing in these two examples because we have this mixed radical here and then we have this number on the end but the same thing would apply if you took these two terms and multiplied them foiled them out the middle terms would cancel out and you would just be left with taking those first terms multiplying them together and then taking those last terms and multiplying them together so 3 root 5 times 3 root 5 3 times 3 is 9 and then root 5 times root 5 is just 5 and then positive 2 times negative 2 that would just give us minus 4 so if you took these two terms and multiplied it foiled it out you would end up getting this here and then multiplying the denominator so we got root 7 times 3 root 5 minus 2 so we would take this 7 and distribute it inside the bracket and there's like this 1 in front of the root 7 so root 7 times 3 root 5 well 1 times 3 is just 3 and then root 7 times root 5 that would just give us root 35 and then root 7 times negative 2 that would just give us minus 2 root 7 and then the numerator 9 times 5 is 45 minus 4 is just 41 and in the denominator I don't think there is anything else that we can simplify this root 35 doesn't multiply to a uh, nice rootable number so we would just leave it as this so we'd have 3 root 35 minus 2 root 7 so this final answer here, this expression, is equivalent to our original expression. You could check it in your calculator to see that you get the same decimal value. But notice how in our final expression, there are no more radicals left in the numerator because we rationalized it. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.